There's something very rock and roll about pinball. There's energy in it, you know, the speed of the ball, the angles. You have to get into sync, you have to get into the rhythm and the flow of the ball. You have to pick up its rotation, its spin, its speed. Uh, you're one with the game. And it's just like it's three and two bases loaded top of the night. Hey, I gotta be locked in, channel in, and I gotta make something happen. And when I'm playing this game, I want it to happen. I got to make it happen. It's that physical rush that makes pinball so alluring to everyone. I used to think that it was man versus the machine, and it's not. It's man with the machine. So when we decided to do one, it had to be something really cool. To be honest with you, we had never met a rock star before, but he was pretty nervous. He'd never met pinball guys. Montague Redgrave came here in 1871, took the Bagatelle game, put the shooter on the game, and that's precisely the same shooter we have today in pinball. I decided to put two flippers at the bottom of the game to be more effective in play, and that's where they have been ever since. The special one lit is one of those colorful phrases. The minute you say it, you know what it means. It's pinball. Not a lot of people realize that in 1976, there weren't any home computers, but there were solid state pinball machines. I mean, the whole idea with pinball is sensory reward. It's very Pavlovian. So if you look at, you know, what's the quintessential reward? Quintessential reward is winning a free game. So there's a knocker, and you hear that pop. You hear something that kind of reverberates through your entire body because that's how you feel. You have that sense of exhilaration. That's the innocence of pinball. It always has been, it always will be.